have been involved in shootings. I've been shot on three occasions. Also, I was stabbed seven times. Well, I come from a broken home. I had a very, very good mum, but my mum was a victim of domestic violence. I watched a lot of domestic violence at home, so I went onto the streets. At the time, I thought it was right to hit people because I seen that happening in the home. Looking back now, it was obviously learnt behaviour. I suffer badly from mental health issues. I have a lot of depression. I have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And this is due to witnessing my best friend get murdered. And myself getting shot on three occasions and stabbed on occasion. It all plays on your mind, you know, guilt. You get depressed, feeling low, miss loved ones, thinking you could have done this and that wouldn't have happened. The dynamics of life, if you would have turned that corner, you wouldn't have bumped into them people. You could go on forever, but it all plays on the back of your mind every single night. When you have sleeping problems, insomnia, things like that. Youngsters don't realise until after the fact. There's a saying, prevention is better than cure. But we all know there is no cure once your son's been killed or your brother's been killed. So I go round to schools and I tell kids, prevention is better than caught. Because if we can get in there early enough and they can hear the real life things, what's happened to me and some of my friends, we're going to have a good success because no kid ain't going to want to go through what I've gone through. My name is Daryl Laycock. I'm an ex-offender, ex-leading gang member.